is a character that you know I still identify with because she is me. You know, and and I don't take that for granted. I don't take that lightly. And even you know, transitioning back into school from filming, I would have people, oh my gosh, you were, oh I love that movie. You know that type of thing, and it's it's always heartwarming. I'm Matilda. Lavender. I'm Hortensia. Hi. Hi. Without Matilda, there would be no other opportunities that come because of that, even to this day. The role of Lavender actually wasn't meant for somebody who looked like me. I think it was meant for someone who was like Caucasian. However, my agent pushed for me and I got the audition and I wanted to go. So I remember my mother had me dressed up in some kind of really super bright colors and it was just like all just kind of quirky and different looking. And so I went and then I ended up getting a call back. And so when I went to the callback, that's when I met Danny. Danny literally had picked me himself and Matilda changed the shape of my career. It changed my entire career. And so as the filming progressed, he added more and more to my role which was amazing. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it was it was a joy. It was my very first big role, and it has literally changed the course of my career. <laughs> Pam has such an amazing spirit, so I know that, it, you know, she seems scary, but... She literally has one of the most amazing spirits. I mean, she played her role so well. So we weren't really, honestly, afraid of her. We had such fun. And she's so nice, so sweet. And then, of course, you know, she was super patient because she had to put up with all of us little kids, you know? So, but she she literally is. I mean, she, she is such an amazing person. And she's an amazing actress. She's been... Uh, around for a very very long time so you know it was it was very nice to be able to work with her and 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 take you know pointers from her and learn things from her as well do you remember a particular time when you went to your house and you after maybe filming and you tried moving things with your head or with your mind <laughs> yeah. i was like i think i can do it, <laughs> it in this school i am god tried only because I understood that you know it was make-believe and me being behind the scenes being able to see you know how these things are being done but at the same time I always thought it would be really cool yeah. to be able to do it I always thought you know if some kind of way I could maybe make something happen that would be pretty awesome but you know I think at the end of the day we all understood okay in 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 your real life when you go home you you can't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm not 100% sure of her reasoning. I just know that, you know, sometimes if, if maybe it's not your path and maybe if you're not passionate about it, you have to do what it is that you absolutely love to do. I'm here to tell you about my book, Where Am I Now? Which is all about my journey from accidental child star to intentional adult woman. She is a phenomenal writer. So I think that, you know, maybe that's really where her passion lies. And so, you know, that's what she wanted to do. And of course, you know, at the end of the day, all I would want for her is to be happy. You know, whatever makes her happy, that's what I would want for her. And of course, she always knows that no matter what it is that she decides to do, I'm always going to support her.